Hello and welcome to another edition of the Get Growing Weekly Work Session with Get Oiling. I'm Coach Ashley, joined today by founders of Get Oiling, Greg and Amanda Kilwine. Hey guys. Hey everybody, we're glad to hear today. Yes, welcome. We also have Colin and Julie from our team, along with a very special little uh, little guest here today. Hey guys. <laughs> Hey, everybody. <laughs> We're thrilled to have you here today. Uh, for those of you who are just coming in, uh, go ahead and let us know where you're coming in from. We hold these calls every Thursday at noon Eastern time as a way to serve Team Young Living. And of course, you're here today as a brand partner looking to grow your business. And you may also be here today because you have things that you offer alongside your Young Living business that you would like to maybe display on a website for sale. And so that is one of the many, many things you can do with Get Oiling to support your business and all of the things that you do. And today, specifically, we are going to be digging into making a beautiful store on your Get Oiling site. And we have a member of our community uh, who uh, we're going to be setting up her site live. Uh, she is an AFT practitioner. For those of you who know Aroma Freedom, maybe raise your hand if you know or are certified as Aroma, Three, uh, Aroma Freedom practitioner. Uh, this is something that you might find particularly useful. And if you are bilingual, uh, you're also going to get the benefit of seeing uh, how we set this up today because we're going to have our store options set up in English and in Espanol. So uh, we're so excited to have you again here today. Uh, so you guys know, just up here at the top of the call, number one, uh, this will be in the description box uh, in the recording, uh, but also importantly, uh, for those of you who are on our list, that's getoiling.com slash weekly work session for these calls, you were sent in your email this morning, a little present from me, uh, which is a planning document uh, that you're going to be able to use to set up products, collections, and then ultimately, of course, your store. Uh, and so uh, definitely grab that. It's a fillable PDF. It is not exhaustive. It's not every single thing, every single option that you'll find in the Get Oiling store, but it's a good starting point, especially for gathering information and kind of knowing what you need to do before you log in. Because the fact is, so you got you got to gather pictures and words for this and information about that. You got to kind of plan and think things out before you start building. Otherwise, you're going to find yourself running around and trying to recreate and make things uh, in that process. So, uh, so we have that planning document. I'm going to be showing you that here on the call today, and of course, you get access to that for free to help you setting up with setting up your store. And we'll be uh, using. Uh, Misha, uh, who is a member of our community, will be using her store and setting up her store and her AFT session uh, as, uh, as an example of setting up a product. Now, for uh, I want to go ahead and get this out of the way here as well. For those of you who, if you're watching this at any point, go, oh, God, this feels like a lot. I don't know if I want to do that. That's okay. You don't have to because we have a team that can do this stuff for you, you can go to getoiling.com slash concierge and learn more about our team. And of course, reach out to request a quote for whatever project you're working on. If you want someone to work alongside you, if you want someone to just hand it off to do it for you, if you want strategy, if you want builds, whether it's for your store, for your site, we've got an incredible qualified team of amazing people who are here to help you. So with that, let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, we got some love for concierge here in the chat. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Awesome. You guys, we're so, so thrilled to have you here. Uh, and again, welcome. Uh, we do have, I believe as well, a live review today that is scheduled. So we will be getting to you at the close of the call. Uh, two, actually, it looks like. Fantastic. Uh, so we'll be definitely making sure we have space for that there. If you would like to sign up to have dedicated space uh, to look over your work together, to troubleshoot, to figure things out on a call just like this one in the future, you can go to getoiling.com forward slash website review, and you can sign up for a dedicated space in the future. It is free and it is held every week on Thursday, and you can sign up for one of several spots that's always going to be available moving forward. All right, so what I would like to do first is turn our attention to a planning document. I'm gonna show you an example that is filled out, uh, but you have a version of this in your email inbox. And uh, team, I guess if, if anybody's having trouble finding it, I've got a copy of that in our, our Slack channel for the work session. All right, so let me pull this up real quick and I'm going to show you 
a basic walkthrough of what we're going to want to get figured out before we show up. Now, I do want to again stress that this is by no means 100% everything that's going to go into the setup of your store, okay? So um, this, this is just, you know, if, if you're somebody who, and let me actually make this more like kind of browser screen sized, okay. Uh, so this is not every single detail that will go into the setup of your store, but it's a lot of the stuff that you're going to wanna kind of think through and get worked out before you log in and you start creating uh, your products and your collections in your store. All right, so um, first things first, in our store setup checklist, we're focusing on products first. When you're thinking about your store, you often think of the storefront first, but if we go and we just take a little bit of a step back from there conceptually, we remember that we don't build a storefront unless we have products to sell, right? So we are actually going to be working backwards. And if you've ever been through any of my training on funnels, uh, typically we're not going to be creating the front page, you know, that people see before we actually build the stuff that happens behind the scenes. So similarly here, we're building from the inside out, uh, from, from the, the, the point, the thing that we're selling out toward the thing that they'll be seeing. So we'll start here with the product. Of course, we do have the name here. We, we do wanna have that here because you're going to wanna use a page just like this one, make a copy of this document, multiple copies for different uh, products that you wanna create. Uh, the one that we're offering here is her Aroma Freedom private session. Uh, and the overview of this is that this is going to be a one hour private Aroma Freedom Technique session with Misha. And uh, the details of this, we do have, it's quite long. Uh, and of course, uh, you can't see, you can't scroll in here, but you can paste a great deal of text into here. So what I would do is maybe type this out in, um, in an editor or something like that. Or of course you can use, uh, this is a, a suggestive document here. You can use something like a word processor for this as well. The other thing that I want to include here in sort of acknowledging and what we're going to be setting up is obviously uh, this Aroma Freedom private session is not a physical product. Uh, so we don't need anything like inventory, model numbers, SKUs, variants, things like that. If you have a physical product, this is gonna be information that you're going to wanna make sure you have on hand before you go and set up your product. And of course, and I don't have this listed on here because you're probably going to be putting something into your store that you're selling already that already has a price, right? Uh, but, uh, but obviously your price is something that you're gonna wanna know before we head in. Now, there is going to be a variation on this one hour private session with Misha because people can purchase one one hour session. They can also purchase a pack of three or a pack of six sessions. So if you are a coach or a consultant uh, and you're selling uh, your time or sessions, uh, then, uh, then this is going to be something to pay attention to. This is something that you can take advantage of that I'll be sharing with you. The, uh, the variations on price here uh, is that the three, uh, three sessions is gonna be 200, six is going to be 380. We aren't going to be using any add-ons or upsells here, but these are of course things that you can include. So if she has a session that is, um, or if you have a session, let's just say uh, with a client and you are a wellness coach, uh, and, but you also do Reiki and you also do something else, you could maybe have a Reiki add on here, right? Where you could, they could pay an additional $45 and include Reiki with this things like that, okay? So uh, of course, uh, that's going to increase or decrease the price, of course, when you add on or upsell something. And then of course, if you're offering some kind of customization uh, for, and this is gonna be more likely for a, you know, for, for a physical product, for instance, like an engraving, we'll just give an example here. Then of course, you want to give some instructions to them uh, so that you can receive the information that you need from them in that field there. Okay, so we know that we're going to be selling uh, single sessions. I believe it was $70. I can pull up a document and, and verify that. Uh, there's gonna be a pack of three for 200, a pack of six for 380. Uh, and this will be in a collection where there's, uh, she has individual and group sessions and Misha is offering individual and group sessions to the US market and to uh, the Ecuadorian market. And so the language of course is different between these two sets of offerings uh, as well as the price point. And so what we're doing is we're going to create collection one, which is in English and offered to US customers. Collection two is in Spanish 
and uh, and and for uh, Ecuadorian customers. So she she will have a separate collection, but we're going to be creating her AFT uh, or the English speaking collection here today. Um, if there are related products to this particular product that you are planning out right now, of course, you can add that here, type that out, right? This is all fillable for your convenience. And then finally, what we want to do is uh, create our product images. Now, I've already gone into Canva to do this, but I have shared with you that the size that you want first is a thousand by a thousand pixels for the first image. Now, if you have images that are different resolution sizes, you can absolutely include them as additional images inside the, uh, the collection of images for your product, but you do ideally wanna have the first one be this uh, high resolution or thousand by thousand square image because that's going to show up best in desktop, on phones and tablets, et cetera. And it's gonna give you a streamlined look for your store. All right, so once we have, this is our pro the stuff of our product. Now we have to talk about what's gonna happen after somebody purchases. Now, because this particular example as an AFT session is something that is a service and it's something that will require somebody take action uh, digitally in order to achieve this thing that they're getting, uh, they are going to need to reach out to Misha and schedule a time. Now, if you use a calendar service like Calendly or Acuity Schedule One, something like that, then you could actually include in this email, and this is a campaign email that's going to go out after someone purchases this product, you can include your link for them to book with you here. This would be where you would want that to go. Okay, what Misha is choosing to do because she's not currently using Calendly or any of those services is she's simply saying, uh, you know, to reach out and let me know two or three options or days and times that could work for you uh, within the next two weeks. Now, if the product that you're selling in your store is something that you're using as a tripwire or a bridge for your purchase, then you may want to choose to add a emails to this sequence where we're kind of triggering a sort of mini sales sequence potentially here for someone who bought maybe a smaller thing encouraging them to go and purchase a larger thing. An example of this sticking with Misha's example here of, of AFT uh, is if she maybe had a campaign like this for group sessions in her subsequent messages maybe she might extol the virtues of one-on-one -on -one and what that can do for you uh, so those people might choose to come back and purchase a session as a private client. She may also include maybe a secret coupon code in here uh, for a package of lessons or sorry, a package of, of sessions, et cetera. So you may choose to include additional messages, but at minimum, if you have something that's delivered digitally uh, or is a service that somebody needs to take next steps on, minimum you need to have a single message that will go out on day zero with this campaign that'll be attached to your product. Another thing that you may want to do uh, is to create an automation that will tag that customer. Now, if what they purchased is kind of immaterial to what you do with the data, uh, then, then you don't necessarily need to do this. So you, just as an example, if you sell, um, roller bottles or, you know, jewelry or something like that, if it doesn't really matter when it comes to kind of reaching out to your list and, and engaging in your marketing and follow up, if it doesn't really matter whether they bought a bracelet or a necklace, it's just that they bought from your store, you don't really have to like create a bunch of different ones of these. You could just create a tag that says store purchase, and then you could apply that to everyone who purchases something from your store. This is wholly optional, but um, I would encourage you to not get too granular if it doesn't really have a material impact on how you're running your business or your marketing. Finally, here, we want to give them some fulfillment instructions. This is going to come uh, because you're going to have Stripe connected to your store uh, to process the payments. The receipt is going to be sent out to them. And if there are any fulfillment instructions for what they're purchasing. So in this case, uh, obviously we want them to look for an email from Misha that's going to give them a link to or information about booking the session they just purchased. Uh, we're telling them to check the email, right? And if you don't see it, then reply to this email. Uh, all right, so that is our product. So why don't we go ahead and we'll return to this planning document here in just a moment. 
Uh, but why don't we go ahead and get into this account here and I will show you how we're going to set this up inside the store. Uh, so let me go over here and show you guys. Okay, so this is the store. You can access this from right here in your menu from your dashboard. You'll probably see at this point that yours is not enabled. You do click here to enable it, but you don't have to do that yet. We're gonna do that after this next step. What we're gonna do first is add our products. Not enabling your store will keep you from being able to see what the whole thing looks like, but I think it's going to be more important to you, of course, to have your products in your store before you see how everything is arranged, right? You got to get your inventory in the door before you start playing around with how it's displayed. So let's go ahead and create our product. Now, as mentioned previously, we do have these uh, group and individual sessions in Spanish. Those are already uploaded here. Uh, this the group and private here, uh, and then I did also include this uh, group session here uh, it, for the English collection. Um, I will show you real quick. Uh, there is a setting here. If you guys see this little eye with the cross out, that means that this is available by direct link only. And because this is a group session, and she is not offering one that or that I'm aware of that that she's registering people for right now, uh, then we are making it so that this link only works if it is sent to someone directly or they are routed to this link directly. So you're not going to see this in the store, but it is a purchasable product. So that is an option that you do have. But let's go ahead and create this um, this individual session. So this is called Aroma Freedom Private Session. I'm literally gonna be copying from my planner over here. And uh, our individual session, the price is $70 US. The product type is service. I have a photo here that I need to upload that I've already created. And that is going to be this one. And again, you can upload multiple, but I'm just gonna have this one. And you can see that's Aroma Freedom Private Session. And then let's go back over to my planner and I'm gonna copy this, uh, what I already have in here. And I'm gonna paste that right in here just to make my life really easy. I'm gonna use paste plain text, just in case where you're pacing from carries some kind of weird uh, formatting. We're gonna put our overview right here, which is basically, this is an hour long private Aroma Freedom Technique session with Misha. You could also maybe say delivered via Zoom. Uh, obviously Misha may have different options that she offers, so I'm not gonna make that call here. We're not adding a collection here just yet because um, we need to make this product first before we can create a collection for our products. Let's go back to our planner and I'm going to select all of my text for my product details section of my planner. Again, go paste plain text, paste it into the document. There we go. Awesome. All right, so it's available for sale. Now, because this is something that we're offering with variations of multiples, we're gonna make it possible for somebody to only purchase one of these at a time, right? This is also something I want you to consider if you have a digital product, if you have an ebook, you don't want somebody to buy 27 copies of your ebook, right? If you have a physical book, obviously that matters. 27 copies of your physical book, that's a completely different thing. But an ebook's an ebook's an ebook, right? So you wanna make sure that when you have something that's digitally fulfilled, uh, or in some cases, um a service you want to make the maximum quantity per purchase one right and of course we're specifically choosing to do that in this case because we want to um, allow for the purchase of sessions as well now you do have the um, option here to create sales we're not going to get into that today and using uh, specific promotions with your store or really getting into the setting up and making it look nice. Uh, but you do have the option to say this is the sale price and you can start the um, the date and time or sorry the yeah the date and time for the start and end of the sale so that you don't have to be in your account, uh, you know, removing those settings and everything at midnight on Tuesday. Again, because this is um, either digital or service-based, we don't need product model or SKU. 
Now let's get into our variants. We do have those. Uh, we're going to show the main product, which is the single session, as well as the variants. You can choose depending on what you offer. If you only offer different variants of what you do, then you could choose for variants only. So this is going to be maybe for physical products where it's colors or sizes, et cetera. So let's go and we'll add um, three session. That price was 200. Uh, we don't have a sale price for it and we're leaving it blank because uh, there's not a max number of these uh, that we want to sell. Let's go ahead and add our six session. And the price for that was 380. Okay, there are no um, add-ons and we aren't showing or offering any related products at this time. The last thing that we need to do is set up that post-purchase experience. And that's from that second page in our planner. So what we've done here is we have created a campaign and I, I've already created this campaign. I can show you uh, what this looks like in the system. Give me just one second. Um, I believe I've called that AFT private session. Let's find that real quick. Yep, so it's AFT private session confirmation. Let's just go take a quick look and I'll show you what I put together there. There it is. It's one campaign. I'll show you the details. It just says AFT private session confirmation. I've spelled out Aroma Freedom Technique private session because maybe the client is not going to know that AFT and Aroma Freedom Technique are necessarily the same thing. So the subject line of this message is let's book your session because that is the fulfillment step. And then uh, we are giving her a welcome message. We are providing all kinds of information information and of course we're giving a call to action to respond so whatever that might look like for you so that was created already so that's selected here i've also created an automation also called aft private client and i'll show you what that looks like and in misha's case i think it is going to be important for her to be able to filter her list for aft private clients right this again it, if it's not material to your business you don't have to uh, to do this uh, for each product uh, in this case, it does make sense, right? So having uh, the Spanish language AFT client, having the English language AFT client, having those tagged are gonna be important for Misha's business. So uh, the keyword here, if we wanted to click, but we're not doing that, that's, uh, I'm sorry, this is AFT. Here we go, save changes, glad I caught that. This is a copy of another one that I made previously. So the tag that this automation applies is AFT individual meaning this person did not sign up for a group session, but for an individual session. So I'm gonna be attaching that here. So when someone purchases, they are tagged with AFT client. There is no vault to add to. And there is of course a set of instructions that we've already written out. There we go. So we're gonna hit create product and we now have our product. All right, now I'm gonna go back over to our planner because there is a next step. The next thing that we wanna do is set up our, um, our collections. Now collections allow you to showcase groupings of like products. So if you have, uh, if, if you have jewelry, if you have diffuser jewelry, then maybe you put all of your necklaces in a collection, you put all of your rings in a collection, you put all of your earrings in a collection, and then maybe you have a sale collection or something like that, right? Or a breast collection and a this collection and so on. So um, the first thing that you want to do for your collection, and you could again have multiples of these, so you can make copies or duplicate this file for this purpose if you want to use this planner. First thing we want to make sure we do is uh, create a collection image. You can go 800 by 800 minimum. I just went ahead and used the same thousand by a thousand that I used for the product uh, and just kept making the same file in Canva, just duplicating and, and, and just modifying the same design. Now, of course, based on your branding preferences, that may or may not be something that makes sense for you. But I think that these looking similar because the products are very similar uh, inside the collections, I think that this is a fit in this case. So what I've done here is I've created this collection image. You do have an additional option to insert a page that is like a page and get oiling above 
and or below the products. And so basically what that means is that you can go in and you can create a couple of sections uh, that would show up on the page before the products in a collection. This is really a design choice uh, that you can choose to make. Um, I'm choosing in this case not to. Misha has a basic plan uh, that does have limited pages and get oiling. So we're not going to bother with this. The store is still gonna be super cute, uh, but, uh, but we're not gonna bother with these, but this, this is a choice that you have when you're setting yours up. We're just gonna call the store store. You could call it something else if you wish. And of course this is fillable. And then you do wanna make sure that you, uh, oh, this is we're moving past collection branding here. Uh, let's go ahead and finish out what's on this checklist because there's not a whole lot more to do. You can call the store name store. You can call it my shop. You can call it whatever you'd like. Um, and then of course you do wanna make sure that you in your Get Oiling account have set up your payment processor. Finally, we want to create a top photo for the store homepage. Uh, that could be, um, it's, it's a four to one resolution. So it's 1600 by 400, 1200 by 300, et cetera. Uh, you can create a bottom photo for the store or you could not, it's totally up to you. These aren't requirements, but they are things that you can do to brand your store. Uh, you can create an optional custom header and footer uh, for, <clears throat> and these are pages that you would use to attach to the top and bottom uh, of your store. And then of course you can create a social media sharing image so that when you share your store, that image is going to show up nicely. Um, that's not just for your Get Oiling website, but it's also reflecting your store. Couple final touches. Uh, we've created an, an abandoned cart campaign. Uh, and this is essentially if somebody adds something to their cart and they leave, they can receive an email saying, hey, sorry, we missed you. Why don't you come back and let's finish what we started. And, uh, and so this was something that I've created already. And then finally, again, optionally, you can create an email uh, header image. If you have codes and things like that, um, you know, analytics, third-party chat tools, things like that that you wanna integrate, those are things that you could pop into this as well. Now let's go back over and let's create a collection. And, and then of course, we're going to finish setting up our store and we'll take a look at it. So collection here, uh, this is of course the Spanish language collection. Uh, this is um, going to be called Aroma Freedom Technique. And we're going to add a photo that I have already created. Perfect, we're not gonna be using these collection pages above and below, but we are gonna go ahead and add products from this collection. So private session, as well as group session. We can create that collection. And we're done. And of course, you can do this for other collections of products in your store as well. We'll go back to the store here and go to our store settings. Give it a name. Make sure that you've got Stripe uh, set up. Make sure you've got your payment processor set up. If you have not done so yet, that's going to be over here under my account settings. And then under payment processing right here is where you can connect Stripe. All right, so let's go ahead and enable our store so that we can finish the work of branding it. We're gonna show a store homepage, and this is going to, to allow us to put um, our collections on display front and center, okay? So I think I might've created a top photo. Let me look here real quick, but what is, I think I did this, yeah. So let's go take a look. Yes, I have a store header. I didn't do a footer, but I have a header. Okay, I, mean, I could actually, I could put that on the bottom too, why not? All right, we're not going to be using a, um, a header page or footer page here. We're just going to be using photos on the top and bottom. The collections we're going to show are going to be the AFT and TAL collections. And then let's get into personalization. So we're gonna keep the footer that we have on the rest of the website. This is where if we're offering coupon codes and things like that, we can create a call out at the top. That's not something that we're doing just now at this point. Uh, shop for products, uh, link text, you can modify that here. Uh, if you know people want to check their account with you, of course, you can change all of what this says here. Um, but this, I think, is all, uh, all sufficient.
as it stands right now. So I'm going to go and grab my custom sharing image that I've already created. There we go. And from there, we should be good to go. Uh, let's double check here real quick. Um, because, uh, well, we're, we're not offering anything physical, uh, any physical products. Uh, we don't need to make any modifications here. Of course, this is something that you'll want to take into consideration based on where you are currently or are able or willing to ship to. And then uh, the abandoned cart. This is our, our final piece here. So I did create an abandoned cart campaign. I'll show you what that looks like uh, here real quick. So you can see what I put in it. Again, it's a single message. And because uh, Misha's store is bilingual, I did put uh, the all of the language here in English and in Spanish. So uh, we're asking, did you forget something in English and in Spanish and saying head over uh, to your shopping cart now to complete your purchase. Um, so we'll save that. That's good to go. And that's going to be our abandoned cart campaign. That's it right there. We're going to delay it. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're going to delay it after a few hours. And then we're going to use our own custom email template. So, what we're able to do here is we just want to make sure, and all I'm going to do is just drop a nice image into the top, uh, which I've already, again, already created. And that's this email header one right here. All right. I'm going to hit enter. And then I'm going to put message body in brackets. And that is going to basically anything that's going to come out from the store is going to have this up top. And then it's going to say whatever it says here. So that's going to be, thank you for your purchase. Here's what you do next. Uh, you left your cart, come back and check out, right? That's all going to come from here. So that's it. So now we can go and take a look at the store and see that we've got our image up here at the top. We've got our two collections here. We've got an image at the bottom. And so this is what the store looks like. We can also click on, uh, here's our AFT in English. And you'll see that the only one that it's going to show here is this one because the other one is hidden, right? Because we don't want people to just show up at Nisha's site and purchase a group session when there isn't currently one on the calendar. Right, uh, so it's just going to take us right there to the correct one. People can pick if they want to pick three sessions. We'll go add to cart. We will go and check out now, and then of course we need to put in our email address to get started. We'll do. You're actually seeing a checkout process, you guys. Pretty cool, right? So now that we're processing this, your store is totally set up. And now we can check out, right? And just like this would happen any place else where you're shopping on a website, uh, because Misha now has my email address, if I don't check out in a few hours, I'm going to get a reminder to come back, right? So there you go. So our store is up and running. Let's go see what kind of questions we have before we start getting into um, any of our reviews. So let's uh, actually, Misha, I would, I'd like to bring you out if you're open to that, if you could raise your hand and um, I'd be thrilled to bring you out to chat and see if you have any questions uh, and um, yeah, see what we can work through here. Thank you so much. That was so helpful. Good. Very useful. I um I will be working on the other end of the group sessions and putting that together. To go back and watch this. So um, I can't think of any questions right this second. Okay. One thing. Oh, well, one thing that I did specifically for you because I know that you use your events and get oiling to promote your group sessions when you have them live. Yes. What I would do um, is in your events when you have one. Let's go look at one that you have right now. In your events, let's just say it's this one, right? Um, and this is what the end of this year, right? So when we edit this event, you have the ability to put the event link here, right? So what I would do, and I think I might have I mentioned this to you via email, but I would do is put the link to the, the store product here, the one that's unlisted. 
the group session. And then what I would do, and let's let's actually go and, and look at that in the store. Okay, so we'll go to products. This, uh, here we go, would be this one, right? So I'm going to copy this link to view the product. This would go right here. And people will be able to see it because they were sent the link directly, even though it's not available in the store. And the only other thing, two, it's the second thing, so it's two things. Number one, you're going to connect uh, the event link to the product in your store. And then you want to create an automation. And that's going to be under settings here, automations. And you'll create an automation that, um, so RSVP December Aroma Freedom. And then we're going to go to event RSVP. And then you would actually find. Here we go, or whichever one it is, right? So you find the one that's in here, RSVP, yes, add action, right? And then you would actually go and attach this automation to that, um, to that, that uh, product in your store. So you're sending them from the events to purchase their seat at the event in your store. And when they do so, they're automatically RSVPing for your event. I hope that that makes sense. Yes, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And thank you so much for being uh, willing to let us show your site and, uh, and set this up. Who here is an AFT practitioner and is super excited to now put your sessions on your website? Such a cool thing that you can do. And they can buy multiple things at a time, right? So if you do multiple things, you offer multiple things, you can be adding things on together, having them all in one place. A lot of, a lot of really cool stuff you can do. We did have a question in the Q&A. Um, Jackie, if you're marketing to leaders in Young Living, maybe a diamond would wanna buy multiple copies for people in their downline, would that be possible? So if it's like for a digital product, um, what I would do probably is, um, it's, it's a good question actually, like to license multiple copies. Um, what I would do just to be safe is to just maybe put like a contact link down at the bottom and say, you know, if you're looking to, you know, to bulk purchase for your team, get in touch. Um, and then maybe you could work that like, cause that opens up opportunities for you. Cause if a leader wants your content, then there's a lot more that you could probably do with that relationship than just sell them some copies of an ebook. Right. Uh, so yeah, so I, I would put a call to action to reach out. And the main reason why I would do that instead of providing the option for people to purchase multiple copies of a digital product is because the headache that you might have with the average person accidentally purchasing multiple copies of a digital product is way bigger uh, than uh, the trouble you'd have to go through to have a conversation with a leader to get the, uh, the thing that you're looking for. Um, okay, let's see. Okay, cool, cool. Now let's see who is on the docket here for website review. Kim, are you here? Kim Crooks, are you here? If you can raise your hand for me, let me know. Uh, and then I also have, there you are, hey. How's it going? Hi, good. Good, good. How can we help today? So I uh, went through some branding work and created a website a while back and would just love for you to tell me what you think about it. If there's things that don't seem cohesive or things that maybe would be better not on there right now. Okay, awesome. Can you tell me a little bit about what your goal is with having your website set up? Um, well, obviously to grow a young living business, um, to reach out to people who are similar to me, the kind of the old fashioned healthy lifestyle, and then to try to link that into the young living products and potentially eventually offer coaching, but I don't have that set up yet. 
Kim, this is fantastic. This is really, really, really good. I get this, you, you're doing an excellent job here. I love free stuff. Give me a pantry makeover. Ooh, yes, that's great. Free consult. Okay. Give me the goods. Send me to shop. Yes. Sending them to your Young Living link. I love it. Okay. Another free thing. Oh, this is fantastic. Yeah, this is, this is great. <laughs> This is, and so this is, you've got a bundle or you're sort of digging through your own sort of bundle here. You've got Young Living products for linking off, correctly linked. Kim, this is phenomenal. Are you, are, like, are you available for hire? This is, this is beautiful. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's been a lot of hours put into it. This is great. This is really, 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 really good. You got a Facebook group on here. Um, no, this is incredibly well thought out very well designed it's it's easy to navigate like this is pro this is pro kim this is very 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 good what you've done here um this is lovely here um let me teach you how i would probably err more on this side of like sign up for my newsletter here as opposed to a, a generic contact form this is still perfectly acceptable but i think a more optimized version would be uh to say i send out weekly tips if you want them put your you know put you know fill out this form um obviously if you're not sending out weekly tips yet leave this here until you do but that's this is going to be sort of the real estate to place that eventually yeah um, pantry, love it. Oh, it's just, this is so good. Um, there was one other thing. Oh, the consult. Um, again, this is perfectly acceptable. Another great option would be to take them over to a second page and get oiling where you've got a form where you're maybe asking them questions prior to your call. And then after they fill out that form, they're then sent to, um, maybe a page where they can hop on your calendar and pick a time. But again, this is perfectly good for now. And I mean, just the design, the layout is just so good. The spacing, everything. This is fantastic. Man, you've done such a good job here. Ooh, and just the, the, the pictures. Is this a flex? Like, Kim, this is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. Oh, I love the message too. Girl, me too. Um, oh, this is fantastic. And you've got, yep, great, great little animations popping in and nothing is overdone. Yeah, this is great. Oh, fantastic. And on your About Me page, you're uh, showcasing some of your leaders on your team. Also fantastic. Oh, it's great. Yeah. Hey, um, like basically no notes. Um, this this is phenomenal. There there are like I just mentioned a couple of things that you could look at adding, but um, as it stands, I hope that you are proudly going out and uh, and and sharing this everywhere. Oh, this this is one one quick thing, actually. Um, right here, I would maybe put healthy homestead or home or put your name in the title bar uh, as well as up here because like that H H is not really going to um to somebody who's who's newer to you that's not really going to be something that they understand uh, okay. quite as readily that hat though that's so cute um yeah so i that that's a, a minor tweak but yeah that's basically it this is fantastic awesome thank you now i have yeah. another question for you so <laughs> okay, i yeah. it, i haven't promoted it a lot because i'm still trying to learn how to use the contact manager side of get oiling mm -hmm. But I've had some people visit the website and then I get notifications from you guys saying, hey, somebody, somebody registered on your homepage. What does that mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that means that wh wherever you have hashtag lead in your button, which for you is uh, is going to be this guy, when somebody fills this out, that means they registered on your homepage. Okay. So some people are getting a campaign that I did not create and I'm assuming is a default in get oiling. Yes. Yeah. How, how do I, I don't know how that's getting triggered. 
Yeah, yeah. So that's going to be under your general settings. And that is called the new prospects campaign. And so this is something that's going to send out automatically if you, it's a default on like a lot of pages and forms and stuff um, in Get Oiling. Uh, but it's also a default for the, the form page. Uh, so like if somebody, or if somebody goes to uh, contact me here, they're going to be receiving that campaign as well. So if you don't want that to happen, then what you do is you can change this by, you know, making a new one, like, hey, so nice to meet you. Uh, you know, here's where you can find me, we'll be in touch soon. Like you can create an alter alternate one, but uh, what you could also just do is go in and just put a no campaign, right? And that- I don't mind it. I think it's great that you guys did that for me. I just <laughs> had no idea who or why they were getting it, or if I wanted to change it, where to do that, so. Yeah, yeah. So I, obviously this is, this is a great campaign to use. If you're using it intentionally, and if you um, if you go through the brand my business workshop, I actually have sort of like some pre made funnel assets that you could use that leverage this campaign. Uh, I kind of create like, you know, a, a full funnel that integrates this because it's a campaign that you don't have to write this new prospects one. Uh, so and it does move people toward Young Living, and it is sort of an interactive one. So it's a good one to use, but it should be something that you're using intentionally, right? Uh, right. So. You know, if people are getting this after maybe filling out the contact me on your website, then it's probably not because you are so um, you're so personalized on your website. It's I don't think it's necessary for you to have that here. Okay. Yeah, just make sure that you are responding uh, when when folks are are opting in. You're getting that notification. Just make sure that you are finding that person and maybe just you know shoot them a quick email. Okay. Well, that was the other thing is I didn't want to be over communicating if they were getting campaigns and the free thing and whatever. I didn't know if I should also send like a personal email saying, Hey, yeah. Well, in, in the interest of privacy, I won't go into your, your contacts publicly and show you this, but when you're on a contact card, um, you do have the ability to see what day campaign they're on. So you're actually able to see like how recently they've been sent something. And then in the past actions, you can see what they've opened and clicked as well. So if you wanna kind of gauge how you reach out based on that past activity, uh, then that can kind of give you an idea as to whether it would be a good idea to maybe, maybe not today, cause I think she probably got two emails from me today. So maybe I'll, I'm gonna schedule this for two days from now or something like that. And then you could, you could schedule it from there. Cool. I'm doing your um, marketing workshop right now. Mm -hmm. And is that going to talk more about how to use the, the contact manager? Yes. Oh gosh, okay. absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I thought yeah, it would, but... I hope so. I just haven't made it through it yet. So I didn't know if I should be looking somewhere else, but. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so the module, so the first module that we did was all about, you know, how you show up, right? So that's your brand, it's your brand content. And, uh, and so we already had a workshop on that in January. Our second workshop is February 15th. It's the it's third Wednesday. So yeah, it's 15th uh, at noon Eastern. And, um, and that entire, entire module is all about how we communicate with our leads and move them toward uh, sharing and showing young living. And so, yeah, this is definitely a contact manager one. <laughs> um, and, and I do, I point off in it to uh, greater depth of, of sort of tutorials for different features and functions. But one cool thing uh, that you should know is that for the live workshop that we're going to be doing on the 15th, I'm going to be releasing and walking through with you guys a series of follow-up plans that actually function alongside the stuff that I've been training on so that you can actually like just get the reminders and you know who to email or who to, you know, ping on social media or whatever on an ongoing basis. So yeah, there's a lot more of that coming in the second module. Excellent. I look forward to it. Thank you very much for your time. Absolutely. Thanks for coming out. Okay. We also have to do Melanie, are you here? Awesome. Hey, how's it going? Hey, can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear me? Awesome. Yes. Yes. Okay. How can we help? Well, I will tell you my website does not look as good as Kim's. I want to be her customer. <laughs> <laughs> She's good, right? <laughs> Absolutely. So how, how can we help you today? 
Um, well, uh, some of my questions you actually answered with Kim. Um, and, a, and then I had an issue with the newsletter and Julie was helpful with that uh, via email earlier in the week. So I've already got that um, resolved. I am trying to work through the brand my business campaign. So I really, um, I really haven't gone, I did some initial work on my website. I don't know, it, I'm not very happy with it, but I'm not, until I, I'm very new to Young Living too. Um, I've only, I only heard of Young Living like two years ago, I had never heard of it before. So. Okay, awesome, well, um, welcome. <laughs> welcome to the adventure. <laughs> So I uh, so you mentioned not, not being thrilled with your website. What are you hoping that uh, you might see happening differently here? Well, I can't figure out how to make the text show up. Um, right here? Anyway, just some of the, just, yes. And, and organizing the, um, the dimensions of things. Okay. Well, here let's uh, let's let's go take a look. Um, let me see. So this would be a page. That, here we go. Home page. So you mentioned the words showing up. Do you mean like right here? These? Yes. I I don't know. I struggle with getting that. The, uh, the getting that um, to show up, and it obviously some of that is just the colors in the photo, and then. Um, but just the sizing and the positioning. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, we can we can play around with that. I'm going to go ahead and link this and make it a button for you. Um, and let's do. Yeah, I do have a do... Um, a free challenge where they work through a, a, a an emotional balance. Um... Okay. So the first thing that I want to do here is I want to just I want to get just a little bit of these sort of extraneous spaces and stuff worked out because what we're going to do is we're going to use a feature called padding to control this a little more effectively across different devices. So what we're going to do is uh, and this we're going to be using this uh, element styles this element editor so what okay. i want to do is i want to click that guy and then i want to kind of hover over until i get here we go i want to highlight that whole yellow section now mm -hmm. because your image here has a great deal of contrast right like if you if this was all white then where it crosses her shirt we're not going to be able to read it um, you know, if and, and because on different devices, the image is going to show up in different ways. So what's best when you have a high level of contrast like this is that we give some opacity to the background so that it kind of pops off a little bit. And then we can also oh, blur mm -hmm. the background just a touch as well, just to make it just a little stronger. And then we're going to use padding to give it some space on the top. Right, I'm gonna give it a little space on the side here as well. And then some space on the bottom, right? And I assume you do wanna have this left oriented, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, so that's, that's how we do that. We create that space there. And then what you're able to do once you've done that is you can test it out. Let's see how it looks on mobile. Uh, it, that's you can read it that's I like the placement of her right there on mobile it looks pretty cool uh let's see this is a tablet we need to address your pop-up here in a second so yeah that looks good and then of course on desktop that yeah that's also good uh our pop-up is is getting a little crazy um okay 12 seconds after the page open we want to we want to make that a I haven't I haven't adjusted that at all whatever. <laughs> okay <laughs> Cool. All right. Yeah. So it, exit intent is a good idea. That's if somebody scrolls to leave the page. Oh, hey, wait, I have something for you. Um, that's fine. Uh, but then let's let, let's let's give them a little bit of time on the page before it pops up. OK, uh, so if we save, this is what it was and that's better, right? Yes. Yeah. Now, you know, is there another section that you are wanting to get um, 
you know, kind of more space and control around? When, um, yes. I, I, if, if you go into my uh, group, the drop of joy. Okay. So. This one? I think so, yes. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, um, see, I only wanted three. I can't get that centered. Okay. All right. Well, let's see what's going on here. Um, let's check out our columns and see if there's something weird happening here. Nope. Those are all threes. We'll check out our elements here and see. Pattern. Actually, I think if you set them to four, that should make them wider. Is that what you're looking for? Or add another column on the left? Oh, maybe. I was thinking three, but maybe you're right. It's the four would make them bigger and fill in the space. Maybe. I don't know. Hmm. I mean, did you did you have a fourth one? There was a fourth one. I didn't. I didn't um, want it. And then when I took it out, I couldn't figure out how to get them centered. Got you. Okay. Let me see if there's any kind of like creative backspacing I can do here. Probably not. Um, I think the code here is set up for four. For four. Okay. It may be because that was like the template. Um, well, yeah, I, mean, if I, just that, come up with, I just need to come up with the fourth uh, one. <laughs> yeah, if you use that column editor, uh, go back in there where it was showing three. And if you just slide them all to four, the, the column size, that should make them wider and fill up the space. What? Okay. Yeah, it did. <laughs> oh, cool. Okay. Yeah, all right. Well, that's that centers things. Um, what I would do then, just because our copy is a little different from, from each one, um, right? And this one's got more copy than the other two. Well, no, and these aren't actually, they're not all the same size. So um, what I would encourage you to do for your, your image choices here is that okay. you- Yep, <laughs> just just make sure uh, that they are here. Let me actually see if I can make, we'll do this one, uh, I don't know, 400? I don't know if that's a good move or not. Yeah, there. that one's 400 by 400. Is this a square? Okay, I think that's a square. So we'll try, I'll see if I can have, make the page make them all one size and see what happens. I love playing around in this. I'm not very good at it, but I love playing in it. <laughs> huh, this I, okay, so I don't think this actually was a square to begin with. So I'm gonna put this back to auto. Um, so what I would do is maybe use Canva uh, um, and yeah, and, and just make sure that the, the easiest way to do this um, is to, what I love to do is I'll just go into Canva and then I'll create a new design or make, you know, start with a design that I already have. And I'm just going to use logo because it's 500 by 500. It'll show up anywhere on your site and it'll show up while on mobile. And then once you've created a design that you like, and maybe you want to mm -hmm. like make a, another iteration of it, you just duplicate it. And then you go and you find, you know, some kind of you know, now, now you still have the same branding showing up, but it's, you know, it's just slightly different backgrounds right mm -hmm. so then when you export this and you go and you put them onto your page they're all the same uh sort of size okay. and yeah that'll that'll make it a little easier for you when you're actually doing the design part okay yeah i think you're making excellent progress here yeah i, I would i would use the a similar thing here as well use okay. um use this photo by all means but maybe upload it into your canva so that you can mm -hmm. export it as like a, a graphic that is the same resolution as these other guys and that'll make your life a little okay. easier yeah great job you're doing good work well, thank you <laughs> you should you should be I'm proud <laughs> you should be proud you should be very proud of the work that you're doing absolutely and keep at right. it with thank uh you. you know going through the branding modules and reach out if you ever have any questions you want to work on something like this again that's exactly what okay. these calls are for so okay thanks for I being have here one more question 
Yes, ma'am. I can't find the link for the um, the Wednesday workshops. I caught one one time this Thursday live. I get an email for, but I, where do I find the Wednesday? Okay, so you're talking about the uh, the marketing mastery workshop. So if you go into the Get Oiling member area, mm -hmm. that's getoiling.com/members. Uh, you got to obviously make sure you're logged in. Now, mm -hmm. today at 3.30 Eastern is the last of the winter session of calls mm -hmm. for Become an Icon. So that's the Thursday one I think that you're thinking of. Um, and that's in here. But the Wednesday, that's um, the third Wednesday of the month. We did one in January. and We're going to do one through April. Uh, and you're going to mm -hmm. find that in the Marketing Mastery Workshop. Yes, that's what I'm looking and for. The market, the, the Yes. Okay. Yeah. So if you actually, if you head over here to this start here page right here and you mm -hmm. click this, that's good. That's an automation. It's going to send you all the reminders for the workshop calls because they are once a month. Uh, so okay. it's easy to kind of forget. So you can get reminders, but if you want to see the replays, they're right down here on workshop calls. And then of course we have all the details. If you want to join the live call, the link is there. And then we've got our recordings uh, from the kickoff and the January call. All right. All right. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate your time. Absolutely. Thanks for coming out. All right. Do we have, um, hang on, just a quick bonus. Hey, Paula. Hey, Paula, can, can we, can we brag on you? <laughs> can you raise your hand and let me know if we can brag on you for a second? If you're open to it, we would very much like to do that. Thank you. <laughs> How are you? I'm well. Good. Well, so since we're talking about designing a store uh, and, and making it look nice, um, it was called to my attention right before our call this morning uh, that you have been hard at work in your store. And I thought it might be really cool for some people to maybe see an example of what a really beautiful store looks like if you're open to us showing. Oh, sure. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. That absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So y'all, this is Paula. And if you want to learn more about her, she does have courses for sale on our partners page on the Get Oiling website. Uh, Paula not only creates this gorgeous content for her own site, but she uh, she creates content that you can learn from and actually put to use for yourself. And so you can go see all of this gorgeous stuff that she's been doing. But very specifically, Paula made a store. Y'all, isn't this cute? I love it. So we've got clergy soul collection, embroidery designs, knitting tutorials, and of course, Paula does coaching on website design. Uh, and you've got, oh, this is so good. We've got, uh, you know, video content about our clergy stole shipping information, reviews. Paula, you made like a, a page that you're displaying below on, on your, um, like this would be that below items uh, setting, right? Where you're, you created a page it's, and connected it here. It's the footer. It's yeah. It's the footer. Beautiful. Yeah, this is excellent. You've, oh, you've done such a good job. So let's go look real quick because we did kind of talk about this a little bit um, on last week's call. And clearly you have been hard at work with this, leaving your Etsy store in the dust and bringing everything over to your good oiling site. So y'all, um, if you need a stole for a, for a treasured clergy person in your life, you know where to go <laughs> and also for beautiful website design. So um, yeah, Paula, thank you for, for letting us uh, show off what you're doing here. Cause as always, you just, you, you make really, really, really beautiful things, whether it be by hand uh, or, or digital. <laughs> thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. We appreciate you. Thank you. All right. Well, you guys, thank you for sticking around and uh, being a part of this amazing community. We will be back next week, same time. If there's something you want to learn more about, something you want to figure out how to do, and you haven't been able to figure out exactly what that is, just let us know. We are always looking to hear from you. That is why we have the features we have. It's why we have the trainings we do. And of course, uh, whatever we can do to help you grow, we're here. And we'll see you back here next Thursday, same time. Have a great week, everybody.